papers. <laughs> but panic attack, here I am. Okay, back now with that other resignation today in Washington. After announcing Shinseki's departure, President Obama returned to the podium to reveal that White House Press Secretary Jay Carney is stepping down too. Deputy Josh Ernest will take his place. You haven't seen me enough today. In April, Jay came to me in the Oval Office and said he was thinking about moving on, and I was not thrilled to say the least. I'm going to miss him a lot. I will continue to rely on him as a friend uh, and advisor. My request is that uh, be nice to Jay on his farewell tour, and uh, uh, be nice to Josh during his initiation, which I'm sure will last maybe two days, <laughs> or perhaps two questions. So what's Jay going to do now with all of his spare time? Take a listen. What are you going to do? Are you going to join any bands or anything? <laughs> well, I might manage my son's band, which is uh, uh, on, on, on the verge of taking off. But I haven't uh, made any decisions yet. I've managed over the past uh, months to have some conversations about what uh, my future might look like, and I'm excited by some of the possibilities. Well, Bob, that, uh, the press secretary job is one of the best experiences that anybody will ever have. It's such an honor. And there, um, J Jay Carney has served for quite a while under some pretty excruciating circumstances. But he did uh, stay through the re-election, and then he did, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the 2014 elections. There's been some rumors out there that he was going to go, and I think I saw some relief on his face today. Well, first of all, I've lost my papers, so I'm not I sure I can deal too. with this. Uh, with all my research is yeah. not here, but I'm yeah. going to try. I'll all your try preparation. Yeah, right. I First of all, Carney had two problems. One, an obnoxious, bloated White House press corps. You may say it's the greatest job in the world for about a year or a year and a half, I imagine. But he also had an administration that gave him no breaks. I mean, the poor guy's been out there having to handle all this stuff, some of which I'm sure he didn't. Uh, think was accurate, and he was had to say those things. Uh, but but then you have a press corps that gets tied up in that little room in the West Wing of the White House with nothing else to do except to uh, um, to go out and uh, uh, play Be toys careful. and games, uh, and uh, that have nothing to do except call around the White House or the, the executive office building and yell at the press secretary. And I mean, I, I think they're all the, the worst journalists in the world, as far as I'm concerned, are in the West. My Wing goodness, of the White House. Oh my let me turn this into a tribute to Jay Carney, and then to congratulate Josh Ernest, who. <laughs> Okay, Josh Ernest, does he have the best name in PR? Let's hope he lives up to it. Well, they'll probably try to hold him to it. Oh, oh, like a, a lot of people don't, don't feel that, that Jay Carney was being Ernest, so let's hope maybe Josh is a, a little bit more. Um, on Bob's first point, on the fact that he had a really tough, bloviating press corps, I disagree. I think they were lapdogs for a lot of this. Not all of them. Not Aunt Henry. Um, I don't think that after watching Dana Perino deal with what she had to deal with in your tenure, um, it's a similar situation. You had it oh a gosh, lot tougher. You have a lot more battle scars, da she uh, Dana, than, dogs all over that than Jay Carney did. <laughs> there was something in that clip that we played, though, yesterday where it just looked like yeah. He, he was it. done. And you and you know that he probably wanted to leave for a while and they didn't want him to leave because it would reflect poorly and they wanted to keep consistency. But his face between Ed Henry and Jonathan Carl, it just looks so deflated. Today it looked like he had a facelift. Who is the happiest guy in D.C. right now? It is clearly Jay Carney and he's probably going to have the best weekend out of anybody. Yeah, he will. And his wife and his children will certainly be glad to have dad back. Um, How Josh sweet Ernest. are you, Dana? I'm That's sorry? so nice. Well, it's true. Very nice. I, but, but I left. I was... I, I, I was I, I was. I stayed to the to the end, and I think this is the other thing that's happening in the White House right now. Oh, oh God, my did I need gosh. hair and makeup. Look at the Fox um, News makeover. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Good one of the God, things that, that happened. You? At, yes. Oh, wow. wow, that was oh, me. I'm sorry. I, I, Yesterday, Eric Bowling said that I was mean and. B word at the podium, and today you oh. said that I didn't look very good, which is true. But not the first part, not Eric's part. Well, what was I saying? Oh, okay, this is the point. With your look. At this point in a presidency, oh, there you, are. When look, you have look, two look. years left in a presidency. You have to ask people, do, can they go the distance? And a lot of these uh, staffers are probably thinking, I don't know if I can make it till the very end. And the president needs fresh eyes, fresh blood. And Josh Ernest um, also comes with... Uh, a lot of background with President Obama. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, Carney's overstayed his welcome, let's be honest. Uh, it looks like Ernest is born in Kansas City, went to school in Texas. You know, he's an Iowa guy with the president, so we get a little fresh blood in there. But what I noticed out there today, did you see when Carney went to say goodbye to President Obama? Yes. He went for the handshake, and then Obama went for the hug, and then for the handshake, and then he started kissing his shoulder. It was one of the most awkward <laughs> things I have ever seen two men do. Well, that's kind of okay. It's just a little awkward. But, we did but, a segment on Jesse, that. On but bottom line, the bottom line, no one knows who Jay Carney is in the rest of the country. No one really cares. 
Um, I, I think it was smart timing to do this on the same day Shinseki yes. left. I think that was just a little air out of there. You do. I do so think the it was press just talks about I, I've, I've, I've seen you kiss Bill O'Reilly on a regular basis. <laughs> not you have? Not, not, a not, not a shoulder. 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 All right. That was fun. Congratulations to Jay and to Josh. It'll be fun to watch you and see what you do next. Okay. Next, for us, we now know what Hillary Clinton wrote in the Benghazi chapter of her new book. You're going to hear that coming up. And I'm excited for one more thing later. I made this public plea on the program last night. I have been wrestling with a guy that put up a YouTube video about a frog on a sprinkler. And I love this video. And he will not respond for permission for me to show it to you. So if you're watching, guy with the frog on a sprinkler, please respond and then I can show the video. Guess what? Good. Mr. Frog Sprinkler Guy heard that, and I'm going to get to show you the video. Bob thinks I've overhyped it, but you be the judge. Oof. Don't miss it. Expectations. Yeah.